Hi, this is Greg from Business Automated and today I will show you how to create AI generated images directly inside of Airtable using OpenAI DALI model and Make.com. Let's get started. All right, so here I have created a table which contains following columns. So you can see the prompt column, which contains different types of prompts. So here we have a cartoon style prompt, then we have a photorealistic image, then we have another prompt resembling an artwork, oil painting, and another uh, classical artwork. Then the second column, which is called number of images, tells the OpenAI how many images we would like to generate. And you can see that we have a couple of different numbers just to test it. And the next column is called images. This is where we will push back our AI generated images. And the final column is called status. Once we click generate, what happens is that we have created a filtered view that shows us only information that are in status generate. And this will go to the next step, which is make.com. So, uh, if you have not used make.com, you can find a link to subscribe to um, make.com and create a free account. Inside of make.com, we are having a very simple scenario with three different modules. The first module is called search records. And what we are doing here, we are searching for the images that are within the images to generate view. Once those images are returned, we are checking here to make sure that there are some images in that view so that we don't um, generate empty runs. And the next step is we are making a HTTP request to the DALI OpenAI API. So you can visit openai.com and then log in. Once you log in over there, you will find not only the documentation for the DALI model, but you can also generate your secret API key, which will be needed to the next step. So the next step here is to create a HTTP request with Make. We are opening the HTTP module and at the URL field, we are adding the URL field from the documentation, which is responsible for generating the images. And the next step we're using from the uh, HTTP method, we are using the post method. And in the headers, we are adding a header called authorization with a word better and our API key. So this would be the place which you would replace with your API key. Then the next part is we are selecting the body type as raw and then application type JSON. And the request content is very simple over here. We are using as a prompt the field prompt from our Airtable as n, this is the number of images that we would like to generate. And from the sizes, this is the biggest size that we can generate. We can also generate size that, size that is a half of this, but we will be using the biggest one. And what is important, you can also mark that you would like to parse the response. And you can also turn on the advanced options. And also here, you can select to evaluate all states as error except 200. So if there is any error or any wrong response from the API, it will trigger an error inside of make.com. So you know about this. Okay. Once this is done, then we are using an update record module. And here inside of the update module, we are selecting which table we should update. In this case, it will be the image generation table. And we are using the data array that is returned from the HTTP module, which is basically an array with URLs. And we are putting this directly here into the attachment field called images inside of Airtable. All right, so let's run this scenario once. And we can see that DALI is processing the images and has responded with the URLs. So now we can go back to Airtable and we can see that the images are being populated and we should get here a hungry llama chasing an alpaca on a green grass, which is matching the description. All right, so let's try this also with other images. You can see that we have also changed the status to done in the last module in make to make sure that we automatically change the status of those images. So now let's run those images in bulk. 
and you can see that the images are being populated and they are automatically showing up inside of make and you can see that we are downloading this is a photorealistic portrait this is Roy Lichtenstein style cat with a cigar here we are also getting an oil painting and here we are having a painting of a surfer in front of Mount Fuji all right i hope this was useful for you tell me what you guys are thinking of it and what kind of use cases you see for that but um, i think it's pretty pretty cool and interesting and uh, good luck creating your images mm -hmm.